See, that's the point right there. I hate that to say this, but people are fucked up wherever they are. Now, this is the same guy making fun of these little kids that will be saying something racist at home or even, you know, talking bad to people at home. This guy is an idiot. And I hate that to say he's out there risking his life for everybody in Iraq. He has nothing better to do than make fun of some kids. Now, if this kid flipped open his jacket and he was strapped with, uh, you know, plastic explosives and shit, that guy would not be laughing. He'd be too busy, eyes bulging out of his head, thinking about which way to dive. But instead, he asked a group of kids to come over who don't even speak English, don't look like they speak English, and says, do you f have sex with donkeys? Now, come on, man. It's a grown-ass man over in Iraq with nothing better to do than mess with some kids. Now, what if this was not Iraq? And this was America, and this guy was working at uh, an amusement park or something. And he, he asked your little kid, uh, any, any kid or whatever, something like that. And the kid ran back to you crying. What would you do? See, disrespect is one thing. Disrespect of a child, I don't give a damn who you are. That is shameful and shitty, and he should be thrown out of the military for that. I'm sorry. It's a little kid. And what if he was saying something else? Hey, you want to put your mouth on this or whatever? And the little kid said, yeah, yeah, yeah. He don't know what the hell this guy's saying. We don't know if this guy has got candy bars in his hand. All we know is he's making fun of a bunch of kids, and he'll be shooting at 10 hours after that. So look at the big picture. Our people have been over there too long. And they're tired, have nothing better to do than to fuck with some kids. That's shameless and low. Whoever posted this video needs to get slapped. Oh, wait a minute. They need to get what they asked that boy done, done to them. Yeah, let that donkey ride your ass, punk. That's how I feel. That's shameless. The same kids you're making fun of laughing at, joking with them. They might tell you that their bomb was over there under the garbage can. Same garbage can you walk by and throw your cigarette butts in every day. But if this kid knew what the man was saying to him, do you think he'd be giving the guy the thumbs up? It's easy to make fun of people who you believe are weaker than you or, or you think they're ignorant. He didn't know what the guy was saying. He's thinking he's gonna get something for free. You can see it in his face. Respect must be given before it can be had. And if we got troops over there making fun of the children in that in the in the communities which they're protecting, what kind of person do you think that was before they went over to Iraq? How much respect did he have for the kids here in America? Did he talk to his brothers and sisters like that? Do you talk to children in his neighborhood like that? Huh. Am I judging this man's character by how he's treating his child? Or would you judge me by saying he's wrong? It's just a dirty Iraqi. Yeah, fill him full of lead. What if people thought like that about us? What if people treated like us like that? They do. When we go on vacation in these foreign countries, people speak to us. Here in America, when we have jobs where we don't speak the primary language on the job, people talk about us behind our backs. This is the lowest form of racism because it's, it's placed upon a child by an adult. Hmm? How brave is a man with an M16 talking to an 11 or 12 year old asking him about donkeys? Come on. Don't we have better things to do in Iraq than to make fun of children? If not, think about yourself. Think about your kid. And you've been tubed.